And we are just waiting. Jeremy Corbyn has a right. Yeah, there, there we go. There are the pictures. Gareth, 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 well done. Gareth, Gareth Perry, yeah. well done. Back up a bit, back up. Time for a general election, Mr. Snell. Oh, we, look, we, we've come here to thank the volunteers for the hard work that they put in to deliver what is a very good result for the Labour Party. This was a seat which many of you in the media had already written the Labour Party off for. And what we have shown, and shown you all, that when we are united and committed and determined, we will win elections. And that is exactly what we're going to do. So, so perhaps there should be a general election then? Oh, well, Gareth, can aren't can I be the first to come here today to congratulate you on being elected the new MP for Stoke-on-Trent Central? Yay! Well then, Gareth. Yay! And can I thank everyone who worked so hard in this campaign when many in the media wrote us off and said, UKIP are going to win that place, UKIP are going to take it. No. I'll tell you what happened yesterday. People came out, worked, knocked on doors and delivered a message. It's a message about the economy, it's a message about jobs, it's a message about this country. But above all, above all, it was a message that hope triumphs over fear. And it was, and it was the victory of the Labour Party and the Labour candidate yesterday that has delivered this marvellous result in Stoke-on-Trent. When I was here last week, Gareth put forward his plan for the potteries. We're going to be working on that straight away working on that straight away for an economy that is based on investment, based on good jobs, based on growth, based on opportunities for everybody in our society. UKIP can't offer that, the Tories can't offer that, we can, we will, and we will win. Thank you very much indeed. What happened in Copeland, Mr Corbyn? What about Copeland, Mr Corbyn? Thank you very much. So there is the Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn, saying that hope triumphs over fear after that victory in Stoke-on-Trent, but not quite as keen to answer questions about uh, the Conservative victory in Copeland. Uh, let's go to Norman Smith, our assistant political editor, who's there. I think that was you, Norman, shouting him, uh, shouting a question out about Copeland, but uh, yeah, you didn't get an answer. I'm just uh, listening to Mr Corbyn now. We might be able to get a few words with him. Uh, he's just talking to a local party member. Uh, he's been a member for a long time, talking, obviously, about the victory here in Stoke, but he's not answered questions about Copeland. We'll just try and get a question to him. Uh, in a minute when uh, he's finished talking to this uh, local party member. Mr Corbyn. <laughs> Mr Corbyn, Mr Corbyn, Mr Corbyn, what about Copeland, Mr Corbyn? What's your verdict on Copeland? What I've learned about the media is that you're incredibly rude to each other. Well, can I just well, ask you about well, Copeland? Why can't you learn to be polite well, just, to Just a simple well, question, well, just a simple question, well, Mr Corbyn, about Copeland. <laughs> Let's uh, just see if we can follow Mr Corbyn and make any progress. Well, clearly he doesn't want to answer questions about uh, Copeland there, as you can see, because that was a shattering uh, outcome for Labour, and I think uh, he's going to get in his car and leave straight away without answering any questions from reporters. An awfully long way to come not to answer any questions, but I think that is indeed what is going to happen. Uh, <clears throat> so only really speaking about Stoke... Um, and really a very, very short visit indeed, just, uh, I suppose, about three or four minutes here. Um, and I presume he will now be going to get the train back to London. Um, clearly no desire to talk to uh, reporters. <laughs> so uh, there goes Mr Corbyn. They're just manoeuvring his car out now. Uh, we'll try to get a question to him. He talked a little bit to um, a local activist, but you got a sense, I think, of the anger clearly Mr Snell and Mr Corbyn feel about uh, the mainstream media um, and the way they feel that uh, it's portrayed the Labour Party. Um, in their view, gave an impression that uh, it was an inevitable UKIP victory. Well, there goes uh, Mr Corbyn, short and sharp. Um, not much to say, really, and I suppose on the key questions, the really big questions, surrounding what happened in Copeland, the fact even in Stoke, actually, Labour's vote <clears throat> slid. They went from 39% to 37%. So there were some tough questions for Mr Corbyn, but he was in no mood to be taking those today. Uh, and as you saw, really, he didn't take any of our questions, Ben. Norman, you tried your best. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah, and he said you were rude, which... Uh... Yeah.
No, our Norman isn't rude, is it? Not at all. Never. 